more rookie moves being made today. I didn't bring a rake to spread all that out, so I'm going to be using a broom. Here, what you can see is just like bloop, bloop, bloop. What's going on everybody and welcome to Nico's Property Show. I'm so excited to jump into the next episode with every single one of you watching. There's exciting stuff happening, okay? So we've been through a lot of the processes. We've gone through digging the footer, pouring the footer. Now it's time to actually backfill that footer area. So everything inside of the house gets backfilled with gravel. Um, you're gonna do about four inches, but today, because we don't have the blocks done yet and I wanted to help myself, because I'm usually out here by myself when I do these small jobs like that, I'm gonna actually pile up mounds of gravel so that I can have it ready for when the block masons get done with the perimeter. All I have to do is just take a rake and just spread it all out. I don't want to have to be dumping in with a bobcat at all the edges because once that block foundation is up, you're not getting in with a machine. So I'm going to use the bobcat that I have here today and I'm actually going to just build up little mounds in all different areas so that when they do finish, I go inside, spread out the gravel, and it's all done. If I had other guys out here, that would be much easier. But however, because I am out here building my own custom home by myself, I am going to get that ready for when the block masons are done. I'm gonna show you the finished footer. Obviously, it's a beautiful job. I'm excited, um, and these videos are gonna kinda overlap and go back and forth. The next time you see this video at the end, it'll actually be once the block foundation is done. So, let's jump into today's work, time lapse some awesome stuff, get this gravel moved around, and let's just get to work. Nico's Property Show, let's roll. We got the bobcat right there. I'm gonna go jump in, uh, get it rolling. I dropped it off the day before so I could get to work this morning. But let's go jump in the bobcat. So we're gonna wait for the bobcat to warm up. Um, it's like I said, it's a little bit crispy out here this morning, a little bit cold. Uh, so we're gonna let it warm up for about three to five minutes, let it get going, let it stretch its legs, wake up, and then we're gonna get all that gravel that's behind me that you can see in the background, and we're gonna just start spreading it around. And I got another entire truckload of half-inch gravel on the way, uh, so we'll be able to get this job done and just you know keep progressing. That's what we got to do when you're building the house. You got to make progress one day at a time. Don't stress yourself out too much. Don't overthink things. Just let them happen. Schedule on time and just keep on moving. Progress is key when you are building your own house. So let's get to work. More rookie moves being made today. I didn't bring a rake to spread all that out, so I'm gonna be using a broom. And um, that is what it is. This is Nico's Property Show. Uh, rookie of all rookie moves happen here. So uh, depending on how many rookie moves you can count um, is how many views this video is gonna get. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm gonna be spreading this gravel with this huge broom. Luckily, it's a strong construction broom, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, I did forget a rake. However, that's okay. We got another entire truckload of heaven's gravel coming in. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, we just gotta get it all spread out so that when the block masons are here and when the blocks are getting delivered, everything is nice and smooth so they can actually work on top of this stuff. Just want it, I don't want it to be like just huge mountains of them like tripping over stuff couldn't stand job sites like that um, whenever I went and worked with my dad when he was laying block and all that good stuff so anyways let's jump over here with my broomstick um, and let's spread some gravel alrighty so here we go my real genius move forget a rake but like I said luckily this is a strong broom See, this is a two for one special. I'm gonna spread it and I'm gonna sweep the footer right at the same time. That's why I brought a broom. 
It's not a rookie move. This is a genius move. That's what it is. Look at that. What kind of rake can move gravel and sweep at the same time? Come on now. All right, y'all, I'm finishing up right here. I almost got it all spread out. And this is a preliminary spread. This is just so I can have some in here so I'm not having to wheelbarrow it all around as if I would if I didn't put these mounds in here at first. So I'm gonna spread this out and I wanna even it out, like I said, for the block guy when he comes so that the blocks aren't like about to tip over and break and all that good stuff. So straighten it out, flatten it out, make it all nice and good for the masons, make it good for the block guy who's gonna deliver. And then this will get finished up after the entire foundation is done this particular video because once this is finished with the blocks then i can add the right amount of uh more gravel i'm almost done here i'm gonna finish up this work and then we're gonna get up out of here because this is all that we got going on for today and then once the block is done you'll see this getting filled up again and then we'll be done with backfilling this place with gravel so i'm excited let's keep working thanks for watching all right y'all so i was getting done and i thought i was gonna be leaving the property all of a sudden the surveyors come back out they're gonna be staking out my pins now that my footer is dried up i'm excited because this means that the next video all the blocks are going to be laid the foundation is going to be done if they don't set these pins then my block masons should not be absolutely not 110 percent laying the block um hopefully people don't do stuff like that out there and if you are doing that stop doing that have some integrity call your surveyors out don't just be doing stuff guessing and the house looks terrible so make sure you get your surveyors out after you pour your footer after it's dried up so they can get those pins set and then the block masons will come out and lay you an awesome foundation so the survey guy is getting all those points set up for me my block masons will be ready to lay that foundation i'm extremely excited so happy that i could get these done these are like the little things in between the big things so like digging the footer pouring the footer um then you know you have to do these little baby things in between you know the block masons coming and then something else and something else so they have to get done someone's got to do them and why not pay myself that's how you're in sweat equity that's how you make a little bit money back and you don't have to loan as much money if you're going to get a mortgage in the long run anyway so really appreciate you watching to this point the next time you see me in this particular video the actual foundation will be done and i'll be back feeling even more at that point so i'll see you when it's time for that video All right, y'all, so I told y'all in the last part of the video where I was back filling the gravel that all the block would be done, and it is, okay? But I'm not gonna show you that yet. My electrician actually came out, and he's here to set my temp pole. So you're gonna be needing all kinds of electricity. So they'll come out, you know, as soon as you start. Usually you do that as one of the first things. I waited about a week. I didn't need any electricity out here. So luckily he's here um, before the framers. You definitely will need it before the framers come out. Do not wait. You wanna go through an entire inspection process and then call your local electricity provider. For me, it's EPB here in Chattanooga. So my man... Adrian, yes sir, they're putting in a temple right now. And then I'm actually gonna go do some work and do all my waterproofing. And then I will actually put in a French drain along all this block right here. So you guys are gonna get to see that. And then I'm gonna backfill all the gravel so that I can finally be done with this entire process. So uh, we're gonna get to work and I hope y'all are enjoying this process so far.
Alrighty y'all, so I'm back at the property and this video is kind of weird because I started backfilling gravel in one video with no block foundation and now there is a black foundation behind me and it's all completely done and it's time to waterproof the bottom of it. Um, a lot of people call it damp proof. Um, when you waterproof it, you gotta actually call like professional people that come out and they heat up this stuff where it's like, it gets to like 5,000 degrees or something. It's crazy, it's super hot and it's black and it's thick. I don't know what the exact name of it is but I bought my stuff um, here locally in just five gallon buckets and you can apply it right away it's nice and sunny so it's heating it up in the bucket for me and I got some rollers that I'm gonna apply it with and my block masons did a great job cleaning around the edge of the foundation I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more get going and then we're gonna start applying that waterproof and then we're gonna backfill more gravel to the exact spot that I actually want it so I'm gonna show you real quick if you haven't watched the last video the block foundation is done right here but we are gonna start I got a few tools I got my blower um, got like a, uh, a pick right here got to come along in a little I don't know if you call it a hoe or what do you call these things? I have no idea. I got some gas just in case, but we're gonna get started, get right to work, and we're gonna move along and get more progress. Alright y'all, so I got it all cleaned up, I blew everything out, so now I can apply the damp proof or waterproof, or if you're using, you know, the expensive stuff, you're definitely probably getting waterproof, or if you call it professional everything. I'm doing it myself, DIY, so I'm going to grab the bucket real quick, show you what it is. So, it's this five gallon bucket right here, pretty heavy stuff. I'm going to film everything, obviously, show y'all. Um, seal mastic, so it's called. I'm gonna apply it with this. Usually, we've been using like this really coarse brush, but I want to see. I got like the thickest, roughest, you know, whatever surface one I could buy. I'm gonna see if this applies really quickly. Um, I would love to try this out, see if it goes a lot smoother. Um, I blew off the entire block foundation, so it's gonna be really smooth. I'm gonna get a little bit of that footing as well, and we're just gonna get to work. I'm gonna get all this video. It's gonna be great stuff. Let's get some progress going. It's a little hot out here, however, we are good. Let's grind, baby. So, I want to show you what it looks like. Usually, the stuff I've used have been really dark and black but this one looks like it's a little more brown that's okay we're gonna mix it up with this great steak it's like a sludge fest going on in here but you can see it's just like bloop 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 anyways I'm gonna get this mixed up it's like an ASMR video and then we're gonna apply it to all those walls all the way along the bottom um, and I'm only gonna do it where I have a chalk line that I already shot and I'm going to do it about four inches above my soil so that I don't get in the way of when I'm doing my stone. So let me get done mixing this right here and then we're going to get to work. All right, y'all, we're out here working, baby. A lot of progress. I got this whole back wall done. I got the entire side done over there. Now I just gotta take care of this side right here. And then I'm gonna get on the front as well. We'll go grab some water though. It is hot. My lower back hurts. Woo! Hey, damp proof the bottom of your block foundation. You won't regret it or waterproof it. If you wanna spend all kinds of money, you can do that too. If you got the money to spend or you can damp proof it at least right underneath where wherever you got going. So like I got stone, the stone won't stick to it. So I'm trying to keep it as low as possible so that when I push up my dirt, I'll have room for all my stone that's gonna be there. So anyways, I'm gonna finish up this side, but I'm gonna go get some water first. So give me a second and we'll get back to work.
Alrighty y'all, so the sun is setting. I finished up all of the waterproofing or the um, damp proofing as you would rather call it or I would rather call it because that's what I was actually doing. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna come back with my dad. We're gonna finish up doing the French drain install and then we're gonna backfill all the gravel. So I'll have the bobcat out here again. So I'll just give you an idea of what the French drain looks like. So it's right there. So I'm excited to be able to finish up that French drain, backfill that gravel so that we're ready for framing and they don't have to be walking around in the little ditches and everything like that and then framing is going to go very smooth so i will see y'all out here tomorrow morning with my dad we're going to get this knocked out it's going to be great let's keep progressing Alrighty, top of the morning to you folks me and my dad are out here working we are putting in the french drain right now he jumped ahead of everything i had to go run and grab some stuff and obviously he couldn't just set up my camera but anyways he's been putting it in and i'll give you the idea of what it looks like so like I told you, it's a four inch pipe with a sock over it that's lacerated so there's holes actually in it so that the water can roll through. Um, and then you cover it up with gravel because then we'll be covering that gravel up with dirt. So I'm gonna head this way for you right now and just give you an idea of what it looks like from a distance. So it goes all the way along your property. So if I'm standing at this corner, you can see that it runs from the top and then it goes all the way there and then you're gonna get it from the other side of the house and roll all the way over here and then we got that pipe right there, that T-pipe, um, that's going to connect both of them and then we'll dig down a ditch that kind of lets it run all the way down there. So if there's ever water or anything, that's why we waterproof or damp proofed the bottom of the foundation so that if there's any water, it's gonna go down there, it's gonna go down to that French drain, run along the side and then it's gonna come all the way down and then go into the natural earth. So that's what's going on here. We are going to finish this up. We're gonna get some of this work done and then we're gonna actually backfill the rest of this foundation with the gravel that I have over there. So let's get to work. Me and my dad got to get this done and then we're going to go enjoy the rest of the day. Almost done laying down all the French drain. A little bit more to go here in the side, and then we're gonna connect everything with that T uh, connector. I'm not really sure how else to call it, it's a little T thing. And then uh, we're gonna run everything down with a solid pipe that's not a sock with lacerated pipe, okay? So I'll show you that here in a little bit, but we're gonna set this one down, get it rolling, and I'll have some extra piping for you. Who knows what? You never know, you might need some. Alright y'all, we're back filling this gravel. Got a lot to go. Uh, it's hot out here. We're a little bit tired, but that's okay. Me and Pops are out here killing it. We're gonna get this spread out real good, and then we'll just keep moving. Progress is key. I keep saying that, but it's the truth. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep getting this spread out, and we'll be ready for framing in no time.
All right, y'all, so we are finishing up getting done with all of the French drain, covering it up with gravel, and then getting some dirt on it. My dad does 99% of the work, and I just film everything. Mr. Nikolai, sir, we appreciate you, sir. Thank you for your help. Hey, when you got a dad that just loves to work, no matter, he's been, my guy's 63 and he does not stop grinding. He's the one who's been doing masonry work for 48 years. He started in Ukraine and has not stopped to this day. So um, big shout out to him, super thankful for everything he taught me, the work ethic and everything like that. But uh, I believe it's time to end this video. We got all this done here. Um, I'm excited because guess what? After this video, we are starting the framing. So everything is done. And this video was kind of wonky because like at one point we had block, at one point we didn't have block, then we had block and so it's been back and forth but anyways let's end out this video and let's just keep watching this progress go on alrighty y'all so I am super excited with everything that's happening the progress is moving in construction if you can keep things going if you get good weather that is just absolutely a blessing okay that's the best way to put it if you don't get good weather that is the worst thing you got dirt going everywhere it's a mud pit everybody's just like the house is dirty, the build is dirty, and I'm actually like a super clean guy. I love clean things. I love things to look good and be clean and be organized and things like that. So uh, we're gonna do our best to have a very clean job site. I'm gonna keep progressing here. Really happy with all the progress that is going on here right now. Can't wait to get into the framing, which is probably gonna be cut up into about two or three different videos because of like the floor system, then maybe the walls, then the roof, and like the shingles and everything else. So, oh, and the window install. So we got our window package on the way. Luckily, we ordered that ahead of time. And so, like I said, gonna be a lot of different parts. It's going to be a lot of different moving areas, but I am seriously excited to see all this come together. And if you have been watching, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because we are growing so fast, especially here on YouTube. I mean, it's unreal. We're hitting 3,500 subscribers, 4,000 subscribers. As these videos are coming out, y'all are watching these videos and you're showing so much support. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me across all platforms. But if you want to see content quickly, make sure you head over to my TikTok, Nico's Property Show, because I can edit pretty fast and just post it on there as I'm I'm actually doing these things and as the build progresses. Also, if you haven't yet, check out nikospropertyshow.com. Grab you a hat, a crew neck, a hoodie, or a t-shirt. Show some support if you want to, and if that's something that's on your heart, I will appreciate it greatly. But anyways, without further ado, guess what, my good people? I'll see you on the next video. Peace.